Hey everybody, it's Calum and welcome back to more Psychonauts. In the last episode, we went through... I almost meant to call him Judge. Coach Oleander. We went through his mind, passed his trial, and got out alive. And now, we currently have... Nice. Uh, we have uh, a button that we have received from Sasha. Sasha 9. I might not get into Sasha's secret lab without it. And I don't know how to put it away. So every time I go to pick up an arrowhead, you're gonna keep hearing that. Oh, that's so annoying. Alright, let's see what Vernon's okay. talking about. I'm gonna close my eyes, right? And then I'm gonna start to count to a hundred, okay? And then you guys hide. Everybody got it? It's hide and seek, Vernon, not hide and calculus. We've all got it. I got it. You start counting, and then I go hide in that bush. Great. One. Milka, you're a genius. Come on, Duggan. Hold on. This reminds me of a story. It's about counting. Hello? Man, you guys are good. Poor Vernon, man. He just talks about long-winded stories and gets almost every detail he can. Yeah, could you tell I'm a little bit like that too? This button looks familiar to you. Oh man, that's from the geodesic psycho-isolation chamber. That reminds me of this time I was stuck in there for three days straight. The first ten minutes weren't bad, but then the second five were pretty scary. I was delirious for the three after that, and then... Hey, I think I see Elka over there. Where? Okay, call me crazy, but I have just got to sell more side course today. So yes, these prices are real. Here at the camp store, side cores are just that cheap today. What was that noise? Like, I, I was listening to the guy on the... That's the noise. That freaked me the hell out. Holy crap, Oleander. Anyway. No, I don't want to lose this button. We have... Now got more access to the rest of the Whispering Rock camp. Which we can go from over here. Oh. I don't like his face. No passing. But I need to get to Sasha 9's secret lab. Maybe you should have thought of that before. I did think of that before. That's why I'm here now. Exactly. Now you gotta pay the toll. One arrowhead. Pay up! I found this thing. Is that what you're talking about? Yep, that's an arrowhead. How'd they get here? Frankie, the new kid can't be this dumb, right? The camp's built on an Indian burial ground and... Oh my gosh! Indians buried their dead here? Ew! I hope not. No, stupid. They buried their arrowheads here. They're hidden underground, but they let out a little gas once in a while. Just like Coach Oleander. So if you see any of that stuff, just pull them right out. Like truffles. Anyway, let me have one of yours. They're annoying. But yes, now... I was gonna walk off the edge of the bridge there by accident. Hey, you. Come here, you. Can't do the scavenger hunt without a list. Report back to me when you have enough items for your first promotion. Now get! Okay, we have the scavenger hunt. Find eight items and you'll be promoted four ranks. Find eight more and you'll be promoted another four ranks. Golden acorn, dinosaur bone, diver's helmet, eagle's claw, condor egg, fossil, glass eye, gold doubloon, fertility doll, miner's skull, cherry woodpipe, pirate scope, psychonauts comic one, turkey sandwich, voodoo doll, and a gold watch. So where do I... Hey, where'd he go? That old guy kind of looked like the janitor. Anyway, <laughs> we are now uh, out of the kids' cabins. 
And it doesn't say roughly where we are now. What if we check the map? It just says we're in Whispering Rock. Okay. But yeah, there's a scavenger hunt going on. What do you have to say? Mikhail is trying to look for a bear. And the button that we gave to uh, that got given to us by Sasha Nine is no longer in our hand, which means I can not I, I can now stop listening to the the audio clip while trying to find arrowheads. There we go. Okay, so this leads somewhere that I do not want to go right now. And we can't do anything with those. Hey, it's the king of the obstacle course! Hey, Rez! You're awesome! You must be a psychonaut by now! Yeah, or even a double psychonaut! <laughs> oh no, not yet. But soon. Wow. Those two are so nice. <laughs> Great bit of visual humor there. Which is another thing I actually want to, that made me want to do this game. There's a lot of good visual humor, as well as a lot of, uh, di like, uh, humorous dialogue. It's just, it's kind of nice to have something humorous. Okay. There's some sci there's some loose psi cards strung about. Oh, and there's also a psi core up there. There's a psi card in there. I wonder, can we Yes, we can walk on this roof. There we go. That's one more rank, and we're up to rank nine at the moment. Almost a full rank. Uh, almost a full 10 ranks, which gives us our first power, which is quite nice. Over here is another Psy card. How many are in this area? Uh, there are 18 in this area, and we've gotten 5. And there's two scavenger hunt items in this area, so that's what that little uh, envelope there is. And of course, the scavenger hunt takes us across the entirety of Whispering Rock. Uh, not this rock, this is not the Whispering Rock. <laughs> I happened to land on a rock when I said that. Okay, uh, what's over here? What is in Tree Trunk Hole? Hey. Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Krella? Or somewhere else? Okay, we can either go to the kids' camping area, Ford's, I mean my sanctuary, or nowhere, I just come down here because I like to hear your voice. Um, I'm gonna go, go to... I mean, my sanctuary. My sanctuary. Yes, noble cycle master. Person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Ford Cruller, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This training facility is built right smack on top of the largest Citanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoon vendors don't kill each other. What's Citanium? Citanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. 
it can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Hmm? Uh, so we there's a bunch of things we can talk to Mr. Crawler about, and it turns out he's the janitor. Freaking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, well, I have many disguises. It, it helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. So, what mission are you on down here? Well, from here I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. I'd better go. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. I skipped through that, didn't mean to. Me appear, you can do it with this special device. Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have like a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. So yeah, we have uh, we have a bit of bacon, which I don't remember how I accessed. Ah, there we go. Sasha's bun, smelling salts, and bacon. If we ever want to listen to Crawler. And we can always put that away when we want to. Somehow. How do I... Okay. Raz has stood the item away in his backpack. To see what's in Raz's backpack and what merit badges he has, press blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, I saw a card. Mine. How many cards are down here? Two. Okay. Just seems to be an odd place to have psi cards laying around. Now, before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are... You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp store, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The duster stores the cobweb's psychic energy on the real world side. So, you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core, also sold in the company store for nominal fee, and it will kick out a bona fide side challenge marker, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough? You'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Put my mental cobwebs in there, and my side cards and cores in there, and soon I'll be able to burn stuff. Yep, basically. Have fun. Okie dokie. So we'll return down here whenever we want to. Uh, once we have some cores on us. Because we've got quite a few cards so far. Speaking of cards... Is there a way we can get over there? Yes. Yes, there is. If we jump up here, we can get the last card in this area. Good news! You have enough side cards to build a new side challenge marker. So every time we get a multiple of nine, it will tell us that we have enough and we just need to get a core and come back here and rebuild it. Where would... Uh, so, drop me outside the main lodge. We 
because I now want to go to that card over here. I want to go up these planks because at the very top is the main cabin and inside the main cabin lodge thing is the store. There we go. Excuse me. I told you them burgers ain't ready. Uh, no, you didn't. The coals ain't hot. They're not going to be done for a while. Maybe a week. A week? They're back ordered. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. I don't even want a hamburger. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you want? Oh, take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean up. They're happy to be rid of the webs, and you can turn them in for Psy cards. Okay, so that costs 800 hour heads. We won't be getting that for some time, and we also need rank 20 in order to use it. Change the color of some of your Psy powers, like your levitation ball and what have you and what not. Well, kind of a vanity thing. You know, in my day, Psy powers were all gray, and we thought that was grand. We were happy just to have Psy powers. Ah, but you don't kids these days. We need rank 30 and 250 arrowheads for that. We won't be getting that anytime soon. Every young cadet needs. What is it? Attracts mental health and other useful psychic energies. We won't be getting that for a little bit either. Help you find arrowheads that are buried deep. That's where all the really valuable ones are, you know. Find three or four deep deposits, and that baby pays for itself. It costs you money because it makes you money. Now, Pretty self-explanatory. That psi core there, put it together with nine psi cards, and you'll have yourself a brand new psi challenge marker, which is worth a whole rank, you know. We're gonna buy one of these. Now, take that. Right Actually, we're gonna buy two of them. Mm, what else is this? Dream fluff. Now, oh, that's just a heal, basically. And we'll come back for that dowsing rod at some point. <laughs> for now, though, I am going to go back to Crawler's hideout. Because I want to craft those challenge cores. Alright, so back here, we can craft two challenge cores. Because we have 18 cards. There we go. And we've gone up to rank 11. We earn a new power at rank 10. And we've passed that, so now we have to go and go. Uh, go and go. We have to go up and see Agent Crawler. In hard vacation and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Pyrokinesis. Cool. I can't wait to burn. S hey, what are we doing here? Inside your mind. Well, I thought you'd like to be in a familiar place for your first pyrokinesis lesson. Lesson? Shh, now, now, think of something you'd like to burn. Ah, oh, yes, I heard you were raised in the circus. Uh, but why would you want to burn all these happy memories here? If they were happy memories, I wouldn't have run away. My dad, he hates psychics, and he knew I was becoming one. So all day long he would force me to practice my acrobatics, hoping to distract me, or maybe hoping to kill me. I never was sure. Now why are you still talking when you could be burning stuff? He makes a good point. All of our little abilities will be relegated to the R button. Come on. Great, great. Now burn the rest. You're getting warmer. Focus. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. Rasputin, lock your mental focus on this last one, and hold it while you use your pyrokinesis power. Think heat. 
Some things we have to hold down longer than others. Work. Fire is pretty. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. You're free to go, but you have to promise me, only use your power, pyrokinesis only, when it's very, very important, or it's really, really entertaining. <laughs> I promise. And if you're doing it to impress girls, make sure none of them have on a lot of hairspray. <laughs> I love the dialogue in this game. And that poses an interesting question. We already know that some of the agent or some of the cadets here have been here for a, a multitude of uh, consecutive years. And we already know there is someone with a bit of pyro. Oh. Oops. And we already know that somebody in the camp has pyrokinesis powers. I don't know if that means they're rank 10 already. Or if that means they were born with it because a lot of different people have a lot of different powers. But I like to think that maybe she was born with that power and it just so happens to be something you can unlock. Anyway, uh, if we move over this way... Was it this way? No, it wasn't this way. It was somewhere around here. I see another card. Gimme. What I'm looking for are some hay bales, and also they're still at it with that poison. I mean, potentially helpful, friendly drink. Because they're friendly. Can we do it to squirrels? No. No, we can't. Um, yeah, we're not Dogen. We don't want to hurt the squirrels. Over here somewhere... Where were those hay bales that I saw? That's the car park down that way. We can go to that later if we want to. But for now, I'm genuinely trying to find the hay bales. Because I want to try and burn them. I know they have targets on them, which implies you shoot them, but I do want to see if I can burn them right now. I can burn the birds? I only noticed that because it was highlighted. This is for science. Why are we able to do that? Oh man, I feel terrible about that. Oh, it makes food. And that food is now just floating all the way over there. Uh, if we go this way... Because I, I do know that there's a side card underneath here. And then if we head down, I believe... Ah, there it is. Straight down here. Yeah, there we go. We can burn down the hay bales. That doesn't do anything. Why are we able to do that? Is it just for the mental health? Fair enough. Anyway, I wanted to go back up this way. Back towards the uh, back end of the main lodge. Because... There are people here, including you, Lily. Do you know where Sasha 9's secret lab is? Secret? It's printed on your map. Duh. Oh, I knew that. I was just curious if you knew where Sasha 9's lab was. Because I do. Uh-huh. Is this how you tell girls you have a crush on them? It's annoying. Maybe it'll make you hot. I shouldn't say that. She's like 10. <laughs> Can I? I want more food. It just sits there. Oops. Is that an item or something? Okay. Can we use it on these guys? Go <laughs> burn someone who cares. Okay. 
Uh, we can go into the lodge from this side. That just takes us through to the other uh, through the other entrance. I don't think she wants to be talked to. Uh, back here, we can see something on TV. I wanted to change the channel. Anyway, um, eh. so it's quite nice back here, nice and cozy. And here we have the levitators. Hey, you guys are good. What the fire started. Thanks, man. Hey, do you have a lighter? Cause if you lit it and held it up right now, that would be rad and completely insensitive to me and my issues. Oh, right, right. Oh, never mind. I forgot about the whole fire bad thing for a moment. Hey, why are you stopping? Oh, I thought you stopped. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's go. We can light the fire behind them. That's quite nice. Can sorry, we... sorry, sorry, my bad. Ooh, feels like Phoebe's having another flare-up. Not ooh, ooh, feels like Phoebe's You have more to say. Do over. Two, three, four. Hey Phoebe, can I ask you a question? What? Have you ever had a weird nightmare about a bathtub? Is this a joke set up? Uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Oh, good, because if you tell one more drummer joke, I'll plant this stick in your eye. <laughs> I love the dialogue in this game. I don't think I'm ever going to stop saying that. I want to get up here and up onto the rafters because, yes, I was right. I knew there was something up here. Over here. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Stop. Oh, man, is it me? Am I off again? No. Foot cramp. Ow. Hold on. Uh, okay, let's go. We have the voodoo doll. One of the scavenger hunt items. And then we can head out to the main camp and... If we look at our map, apparently it's printed on our map that Sasha about Sasha's lab, but it really isn't. It's just saying you should go in this direction. It's just a way of it getting getting you to check your map. Uh, but we're not going to go to Sasha's lab just yet. First of all, we are going to. Uh, I think it's this way. We are going to head down to the car park, which is this way, yes. Oh, we're so slow. I'm pretty sure we get faster, don't worry. Ooh. How do we get up there, I wonder? Okay, the car park is a, isn't an area that has to load in. So I'm sure we can find our answer on how to get up there from in here. Speaking of in here, there's a side card. And there's another one up here in the Porta Porta Party, Porta Loo outhouse thing. Um I believe there's another one over yeah, another one over there, and one on top of that, one on top of that, and I think that might be it for the car park. Though I don't know how we would go about getting this one. Oh, we can just jump up onto the onto the hoop. Nothing but net. Right. Can we get up here? I know we can, I just don't quite know how we'd go about doing it. I know we can get on top of this truck. And get a side card that way. But I don't know how we get up um there. I believe we have to get a new ability in order to do that. Yeah, probably. And I believe the same goes for this as well. 
because I do not see myself getting up there unless we can climb up these. Can we climb up on the lampposts? No. No, we cannot. Alrighty. Then we should see if we can climb up these rocks and get up to that side card that's up there. I think we then go to this one. Yep, yeah, okay, okay. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, there's actually one over there too. Oh, there's actually one on a rock over there that I missed. Because I'm an idiot. And if we get back up here, we can actually make it on top of that sign, I believe. From up here. And we also find another scavenger hunt item. Oh man, like my bad. Walking along this tightrope, we can get on top of the sign. And that gives us another sign card. But we're gonna have to wait a little bit until we can get that one down there. I can admire the view though. It's quite nice. Anyway. We have one scavenger hunt item in this area. Oh! The lodge counts as a separate area. Okay. Uh, okay. So there's one side card down there that we cannot get. And there's one more side card in this area, too. And we've not found. Um... Okay, I'm struggling to find another side card, but we are very close to having 50 arrowheads. Which we need for that dowsing rod. So if I can just get a couple more arrowheads... Oh, there's the side card! I am blind! And there's more arrowhead over here. More arrowhead, more arrowheads over here. Uh, we just need one more and then we can go and buy that dowsing rod. And there we go. Oh, we found two that time. Nice. And also because this counts as a new area, you can see there are no side cards in this area, only a scavenger hunt item. Hey, uh, Alright. I want to buy the dowsing rod. This dowsing rod can be used to find deeper, more valuable titanium arrowheads. Yeah. Uh, once in the right spot, press Y very rapidly, or triangle in this case, to extract the arrowhead from the well, ground. Right, now it says find enough deep arrowheads to afford the cobweb duster. I think we can do that. So let's equip the dowsing rod. And if you're playing on controller, it's going to vibrate. when you are near one. But you can just mash triangle while you're walking around. And when you get closer to a really buried arrowhead, you will just automatically pick it up. Where is this? There it is. Okay, we got everything in this area.
Now there are audio cues, as well as vibration cues. But you can't fully find the area unless you can mash triangle all the way to the top. And you can never mash triangle all the way to the top if you don't find the area. There we go. And we actually need a lot in order to afford the cobweb duster, so we'll do that in the next video. Actually, I'll do it between videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.